Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to um, my, if you guys have new for the point, you know, like for the people who are kind of new to my web, web channel, I basically do recording of the computer programming, basically, you know, uh, kind of stuff that we do a daily day. And we basically do um, in our daily work as, as a computer programmer, whether, with the, whether as a client side developer or server side developer. So basically the new, the newer technology or whatever I learned, I would like to share with the guys out there. Anyway, so to what I have decided to do today, not today, it's going to be a series of video tutorial that I will be recording. So basically, we'll be creating a single page application. Uh, even before that, basically about me, here is my name. My name is Siba Adhikari, and then, you know, in my profession, I'm a web developer, a software engineer, or whatever. And here's my Twitter handle if you guys want to follow follow me and follow my YouTube videos and stuff anyway that is all about that and then so in today's topic in this sequence of video tutorial this is where we will be we will be creating a single page application this application can be mainly um, using the angular JS the even in angular JS we're not going to cover about the angular JS but mainly I'm going to talk about and we will be writing a single page application using angular component so and then we'll be using our navigation using the Angular component router. These are the these are the new or these are the feature that is available on Angular 1.5 and going forward, right? So it's really good because like what this helps a developer uh, kind of like kind of be ready for Angular 2.0. You know, it has a really Angular 2.0. It's gonna be really amazing because it it will be using a lot of um, it will have a, you know, it's in a way it's gonna be good for a lot of people who are like server side programmers. We'd have a feature like a classes because we'll be writing all the code in TypeScript and stuff like that. Okay, that is in the for the future, for right now. So in, <clears throat> so this is what I will be doing. Here is some of the technology or, or, or tools I would say that I will be using in server side. Of course, it's gonna be a Node application. We'll have a node and express, and we'll be using some express generator to 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 create some template for us, and we'll be using Gulp and Bower and all those things. Okay, and in terms of client side, it's going to be a JavaScript, of course, and it's going to be Angular, and Bootstrap, CSS, HTML, and stuff like that. And along the way, I would like to you know uh, explain as many concepts as I can, and and also the, I, I prefer to um, you know do a demo, actually code it instead of just explaining it. That way, you know I'm kind of like I have to code it to to explain something better. And in terms of you know IDE that I'll be using the, the this Visual Studio Code editor, which is open source, you can download, and it's really really cool. It's getting better. It's really cool. And then, of course, as our main tool would be the DOS command, we'll be using that to, you know, download all the packages, all the tools that we need to start our, to create the template, okay? That is all about this slide, not well, even slide, this, this little description. So next thing we're going to do, I have this, um, this project, this is my... Uh, Visual Studio Code Editor, okay? Um, this is a theme that I like. I mean, you can change whatever theme you like. I mean, this is a really cool feature if you guys don't use this editor so often. So if you go in here and then here's the preferences and here is the color theme. There are so many options and I choose this dark, Kim B dark option, but whatever you like is totally up to you. Okay. Oh, even that, and, and on the side note, of course, you don't have to really use um, this editor. There is a lot of open source editor like uh, Bracket or, or, or what else, you know. Even if you wish, you can also write this. Um, well, you need a server, of course, but you can write in a Notepad or Notepad++, whatever. Okay. So, very first thing, I have this. I have created this directory. <clears throat> so, right now, this directory is empty. So, what I'm going to do right here, I have a... I have this uh, generator, the Express generator, installed in my uh, no, in my um, console. So I'm going to say Express and give. So I'm I'm going to generate some templates, some basically structure of my code. You know, so I'm going to say uh, tutorial on
Okay. So as you can see right now, it created some folder structure for us right here. It created a new folder here. Inside that folder, it has a public folder here. And then, of course, the most important thing right here is it created app.js file. The I use that generator so that I don't have to write all this code by hand, right? So because this is our node application, this is a starting point, app.js. And the most important thing when you write, the most important thing is this file right here called package.json. So here, <clears throat> it is, it has some of these dependency that it is specifying right here. So it needs a body parser, cookie, the express, jade, and more. By default, it, I think it looks like it uses the jade template. That's why it is specify all, all this dependency. And, <clears throat> Okay, very first thing, of course, in our project right here, we have not, we don't have none of these, um, we don't, we don't, we even do not have an express install. Let's go ahead and use our npm package manager. This is the, the, for, the, for the people, uh, for the programmers out there who have not used npm, it is like server side package manager. Basically, if you need to download any middleware, they call middleware, like in any component, that's what you, that's what we use. So this tool, of course, we uses command call install, and then you're going to specify the name of the uh, component that we're trying to load, a uh, download, right? So we need to get Express. Right now, we don't have Express install. So it is... Okay, so it, so as you can see right now, so what this did was basically uh, it added a new folder here because this is all node modules here, and inside the node module it added the express. That is that that is what we need, and so uh, so right now, I don't know you guys have been using it how much how frequently you guys been using the express the. Previous in previous version of the Express, a lot of these um, a lot of these extra dependency like this Morgan Cookie Parser, all of them were downloaded as a part of the Express. But all of those component now as individual component, so you will have to uh, download all of them. So let me let me show you what I mean. If I decide to um, let me clear everything. If I decide to um, so uh, this is the file that I have to run, right, to, to start my server here. So if I say to node app run the app.js, it's going to say, um, oh, first of all, uh, first of all, because I'm in a wrong, compo uh, a wrong directory here, I have to go, I have to cd into um, tutorial on Angular component that's where the okay now if I do a node that's the start my node and I'm basically asking the node to run the file called app.js that is where all my server-side code is right okay the, the, this is important too I mean if you you know like I have some code that I, I ran with the expert older version of the Express you know I, I didn't you uh, uh, you wouldn't get that error if you are running older version, but as you can see, the Express is latest version is starting from 1.4, I think. Um, then, then basically all of this module, you all of this middle t middleware, you have to download it separately. That's what he's saying. Very first thing right here, this component, this uh, require doesn't know what this one is because it doesn't exist in in the node module. Um, so we have to download it. So just like so let's go into I actually I downloaded Express in a wrong folder here because our location was the, this is our main component. So, and let's also 
Guys, this is going to be just the downloading and stuff for a while. This is Fabi Can't. Oops. Okay, that is also installed. Let's go ahead and install the like the middleware called Morgan. Oh, the spelling. <laughs> There's no this is component called Morgan, so it's a Mor G A N Morgan. Sorry for this guys, I mean like when you're doing demo and writing code sometimes there's a lot of chances of being wrong so I really apologize ahead of time. And the other thing we need, we need something called cookie parser here. I'm basically, you know, I'm looking at all these things that it needs and basically installing all of those components that it needs. And then finally, I need body parser. Okay, so at this point, the the in our this folder right here, we have the node modules here. All these components like body parser, cookie parser, express, and Morgan, and all these all these required dependencies all satisfied. I'm wondering what happens if I go ahead and um, run my f app file. Okay, it it ran. The one more thing before I before I can start my server. Let's um, it doesn't. I'm going to specify a particular, I'm going to tell this um, app to run on certain server. I'm going to say app, um, there is the method called listen, that's a part of the, the, the express, and into listen method you're going to specify the port number into which the listen to, right? Let's specify 4500 as a port number to run this. And go ahead and, and save this file. and. And if I start, localhost 4500. Okay, this is this is very valid message, and it, it, it's um. So there is, you know, as you can see right here, it, it is a, it it was looking for um. It is this error is coming out from because they're looking for this module called Jed. Uh, because by default, the, the template generated by that Web Express template that we run, it uh, it uses as a JIT template as a as you will see in the configuration here. So basically, it's a looking for this particular module. So what what it does, the node application, basically looking into these node modules and looking for that particular. Module, but it couldn't find it. That's why it was complaining about. So as you as you guess now, so we can go ahead and, and install that component also. We can say, hey npm, go ahead and install J install Jade template, Jade module for us in our project. Okay, looks like it did. Here is a Jade. So if I run this one now, um, let's go ahead and run our project. And then if I go into this website, okay, this is the so what happened here is there is, there is a default template. Um, uh, this is the default Express template that is generated by. Um, so if you go into this view right here, there is index space here. So that's what it is running from. Welcome to title. So 
that that is the default template provided by the by the, the generator that I ran in this case the Express generator Express web app generator. But however, in this application, we will not be using any of the any of the Jade related stuff. But we will be um, all our code we're gonna write here. This is where the we will write our application. Okay, that is the first thing. Right now we have our server. It's a running fine, right? It can basically serve some static pages and an energy template without any issues. But so the other thing, as the npm is for the server side for downloading all these middle to middleware, all these component, we have other we will use other component called Bower. So we need to download a lot of um, since we need in this project, as I said in the videos in the beginning, that <clears throat> we'll be using will be using uh, a lot of angular js and all of those things so let's we next thing i'm going to do i'm going to ask for bauer hey i start um so basically bauer is the as the package manager for the client side okay i'm going to ask the bauer and it has the same similar command like um, npm install very first thing i need i need a jquery Sorry guys, it's taking longer. Okay, so what happened just for the beginners who are not familiar with all these, you know, new um, new node related technology, uh, Express and Node. So what happens is like when I run that command, it basically create a new folder into our project here uh, called Bower component here, and it into it it downloaded uh, uh, it it downloaded jQuery here. Okay. So uh, just like jQuery, we need, of course, the uh, now let's go ahead and uh, install the Angular also. Okay, as you can see right here in our project, install Angular. Um, let's resource. We'll be, we'll be using resource because to make the HTTP request, so let's go ahead and install that one also. And then... That, that is the main component that we'll be talking about. So we'll be uh, we'll be installing Angular components. Okay, then the most important thing, Angular component router. This is also, we'll be using that one too. Let's go ahead and install Angular component router. Okay, these are the things that, are the, uh, since we got Angular component, the resource, jQuery, and while we are here in the, in the client side, Let's go ahead and install the um, Bootstrap also. Okay, these are all the, our server side stuff. I mean, the client side thing that we need. Like, okay, <clears throat> so. Um, we have, you know, basically, our, we are basically slowly setting up our environment. Of course, there is, you know, there might be, I'm pretty sure there must be some sort of um, generator out there that generate, or, or you can basically create, write your one generator, but there must be, there are a ton of generator in NPM. There might be something that generate all these things for us. But I want to, um, the people who are kind of like, you know, biased to node programming or, or node web application programming to, to go through this. You know that would definitely help. But when I started learning this, so I wanted to do everything, you know, one by one instead of you know like just grabbing the generator, you know, created by somebody. Anyway, just that is just um, 
in the beginning, you know, and of course, as you start working, you, you don't have to write all these mundane tasks manually. Okay. Anyway, so next thing I want to do, usually what I do here, uh, <clears throat> there is a, with a node, we have a lot of automate, automation doing tasks. There is something called Gulp. The idea about Gulp is, let's say, you would like to um, do a lot of copy and pasting from files from one location to another. One common thing I do uh, here in my project is that by default, you know, it downloads all the JavaScript file in, in this format. Like, um, if you go into Angular here, it creates Angular folder and all those, these files right here. But I would like to um, have all this file in the flattened form into my uh, uh, pop in this JavaScript folder. That's what that's what I want to have all of those. Of course, we know we're not going to do copy and paste manually because imagine we have like I don't know maybe uh, one two three four five six directory. I have to copy all this all of those things. Doing those tasks by hand is a lot of work. So we're going to write a task. We're going to write a gulp task, and we're going to run the gulp to do that for us, OK? So to do that, uh, what we have to do is um, we need to add a file here. The name of the file is going to be gulp file, a, J a JavaScript file, OK? So, so I have a couple of files that I, I have. I have written some tasks here to for uh, for do to do that. So, very first thing I want to do okay. I have this first task. There is a. Of course, this is not topic about Gulp, and there's a lot of videos out there about Gulp and how to write Gulp function, a Gulp module, and stuff like that. But the 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 idea about Gulp is like there is a four or five different public API, some to create the task, a watcher, all those things. So what this one trying to do basically, you need to, when you create a task for a Gulp, you're gonna give a name. I give just give a default name, and then just a function to be executed here. Okay. And it has a couple of methods like a source. In in this one right here, I'm specifying. So since the Bower location in the same file, so I don't have to say uh, this. So basically, this is a Bower component referring to this folder here, and this two two star sign basically referring to a directory inside the Bower component, which is basically all of them here. Okay. And then I don't really care. This last asterisk, I mean, the, not asterisk, the star is referring to the, the kind of like regular expression. I don't really care whatever the name is. Anything that terminates or ends with the mean.js, I want to copy that file into this public JavaScript folder. That way it will, it will automatically copy for us. Of course, however, even before I can do that, at this point, the first thing we need to require Gulp, right? Because that is the module that we'll be using. But as you might have guessed by now, because that module we have not even this middleware, we have not even downloaded using npm. That is the very first thing we have to do. So, for instance, if I run this one right now, I'm going to say call. Hey, go, go ahead. Well, even before that, let me save all the files here, everything. And here is my go file. And let's go ahead. And if I run this one with the name default, I think if I, by default it tried to run for the default. Even if I say just go, I think it tried to run that, that default name. I haven't tried, but yeah, that, that, that's what it does. So basically, it's saying, hey, it, in, very first thing you have to do, you have to go ahead and install the gulp here because it doesn't know what the gulp is, right? So let's see, npm, go ahead and install gulp for us. <coughs> Excuse me. 
this might be a while okay now the gulp is there but as you might have guessed I'm using something called the other, another middle middle tier called flatten the what how this would work if I but but it doesn't know what the flatten is so uh, to be able to use that I need to install another um, plugin called flatten right here after once I have the flatten but of course you know right now it doesn't know what the flatten is let's go ahead and uh, run download this middleware called gulp okay now if I run this module I'll show you what really happens I'm gonna go ahead um, now I'm gonna say gulp run my default task okay so it took two some millisecond 245 millisecond it, it said it copied all those files from uh, this bar component into my JavaScript file let's verify that one it's my JavaScript this is angular resource that we downloaded here is a mean the part of the bootstrap and then mean here and jQuery and ng component mean uh, basically the things that we need it downloaded well done not download it basically copied from this bar component folder and flatten it meaning like if we do not use flatten here basically it also copy the directory but I don't want that I just want that JavaScript file to be uh, flatten it so that only the, those file would be there the minified version of the file would be in the JavaScript folder but that is the whole purpose of that um, we can write multiple tasks in here. Other thing we need is we need to copy the, the the bootstrap into this folder here, the starseed folder. So let's go ahead and write another task here. Let's go ahead and give this task as a um, copy bootstrap or something. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. You can choose the name that you like. And here is our bootstrap that this is power component and then if we, if we look it into the into the structure of our uh, the, you know created by the by the power I think that it is inside the distribution directory so we can do something like CSS that is a directory we know and then we are looking for a file that ends with CSS and we don't really care about the name right I think that should work and this thing this these all these CSS file we would like to copy them into as you guess here the template generated by our generator into a style sheets folder Style folder. I think if there is no syntax error, um, now I'm going to run not the default task right now. This time I'm going to run copy bootstrap task. Okay, let's see. It said it did the work. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is this is good. So it copied those file into our uh, our directory. So now our structure looks okay. Of course, you know, like uh, with the with the golf, you can do so many cool things. But this is the only thing I needed to do. There's one more thing uh, for our project before we start writing our Angular JS related code, our compo Angular component related code. Um, so we have to do one more thing. We can even write a task, but that's just the one file, so we can directly copy. <laughs> so. Here is a file component. This is the this is the need the, the Angular one router file that we'll be using. So I'm going to copy this one 
and I want to manually copy this file and then put, put this file into our A JavaScript folder listed here. So all the JavaScript that we need is here, okay? Okay, that is that. So um, right now we don't have, we have all the all the all the different kind of modules or component that we need. We have it. So next thing I'm going to do right here, I'm going to create a HTML page here. I'm going to say uh, index page. This is our single page application. The idea about single page application, all that we, we're not gonna, we're just gonna be the kind of like a cell page or main main page. We'll be loading uh, basically a fragment of the HTML into this page using you know the, the XML HTTP request. That's what behind the scene. That's what a single page is. You know, basically we not have a your server side refresh and all those things. Okay, just to, just to make sure, you know, we um. I have a simple HTML5 template. That's, I'm just going to copy that one instead of writing HTML by hand. I'm just going to copy this. Okay. So we can come in here. Maybe we can format this one also. Format the code. This is our main page, just for now. If I go into index.html, just I want to make sure that it. it oh, <laughs> sorry for that, guys. So we haven't, you know, it's not going to run because our. Um, our app is not running right now. Oops, I don't mean to do copy here. I mean to say um, node. Of course, that's for that it has that's that's the file when that code gets executed. The server basically starts right without that. Go ahead and save everything. This is going to be index.html. Just I want to make sure this public folder. So it should be able to serve any file, any static file into our location, right? Oh. Let's take a look why it is not serving that page. There is a no ser uh, network. Ah, for some reason, okay. Yeah, I think there was a problem in the code. It is because of, it, it has this code here, but this this is what preventing this HTML. It, it was it was it was it was as if the whole thing was comment. That's why it was not serving that page, guys. Sorry for that. Now this page is working. Okay, now we have our page. So uh, starting from this is going to be the first part of our tutorial. You know, starting from the second part, we'll be um, we'll basically create a simple uh, bootstrap, you know, page, and then start rewriting our AngularJS application. But, uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will be recording more videos very soon, and then uploading into my account. Until then, thank you so much for watching videos and supporting, guys. I really, really appreciate it.